morning guys. Well, I received a letter through the mail this morning. Uh, it's from a psychologist that I saw a couple of weeks ago. No, I haven't told anyone, or I haven't made a video on this, so no one knows. But, um, it's a confirmation that I have Asperger Syndrome. Or is it Asperger? Asperger? Asperger. Asperger. One or the other. You know what I mean. And, uh... Hang on. Asperger. I don't know if it's going to come up. Yeah, you can just read it. And... There's my name. And there it all is. I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera. So, yeah. Didn't want to really say anything about it until I had it confirmed that I do, in fact, have that, um, have Asperger syndrome. Uh, well, I think it'd be classed as ASD now, won't it? As they've bundled it all under the same category. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that, you know. Being diagnosed at 31 years old. But, uh, it does explain a lot. I'm just standing up the window because I'm waiting for mum to show up. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about it. A bit, it's a bit mixed, my feelings. Yes, I'm glad I've got a diagnosis, so I know that I do have an official problem that I can now, with help from the proper groups and people, um, progress with my life, I suppose, because uh, I spent, well, this first part of my adulthood, you know, I've spent struggling, not knowing if I had a problem, you know, a mental problem, not knowing whether if it was just me who was just weird, which is what I thought for years, you know, I never thought I had a problem. While I was growing up, I just thought I was weird, and I had weird habits, and I just, you know, was shy and antisocial. I didn't really, you know, back then in school, I didn't realise I had a problem. I didn't even know anything about autism or Asperger or anything like that. Um, I'm disappointed that it wasn't picked up at school, because I think if it was, and I received the support I needed back then, then maybe I wouldn't have gone through this so many years struggling to get a job, struggling to hold a job. You know, the last jobs I had were around about 2002. I don't like to admit that because it is embarrassing, but that was the last time I actually held a job. And you know, and struggling to get the confidence together to um, go in and ha or walk around and ask for jobs, you know, walk around the local shops. And, and it used to really piss me off when, like my dad would say, you know, you should just walk around and go and talk to the managers and see if they've got any jobs and blah, blah, blah. And I'd just say, well, I don't find it as easy as that. And, you know, and I just thought that was just me, you know, me being awkward or me being shy or whatever. And I used to feel like when I said that, you know, people either didn't believe me or didn't understand that I found things like that a lot harder than perhaps a normal person would. Um, but now I know I've got a reason for it, and I can 
work with the necessary support groups to um, get the help I need, which I suppose is uh, is uh, a huge benefit. Um, obviously, I wish it this happened a lot sooner. Uh, I think I, uh, yeah, here come mum. So um, what I'm going to do? I'm going to end the video and. Uh, continue later. So uh, I'll talk to you in a little while. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm not trying to remember where I left off now. Uh, no, I completely lost track on what I was talking about when I left off for a while. Um, yeah, the bottom line, oh no, yeah, the bottom line is diagnosed with Asperger's. But uh, that does mean I can now move forward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Completely got a blank mind now.
I didn't mind working with my friends. I only had a small circle of friends, you know, I wasn't huge, hugely popular at school, which was fine by me, I didn't want to be popular. Um, so, yeah, I didn't mind, like, pairing up with school buddies. But uh, do something in a group, I hate it. I preferred to do something on my own. I mean, as an adult, I could work in a team if I absolutely had to. So, you know, I can follow orders. You tell me to do something, I'll go do it. <laughs> um, unless I'm absolutely uncomfortable with it. But... I could work, like, under a boss, giving me directions. Uh, it's probably why I found it quite easy working at Argos when I did work experience there through an agency called A3. Uh, I was in the uh, rear warehouse area where all the goods are stored, and... Uh, Every time an order came through on the machine, I was one of the people that went and picked it off the shelves. Which was a pretty easy task, uh, when you could find the damn things. Because naturally, depending on who was on the shift, sometimes some of the workers like to uh, move things around when they're looking for something and not actually put something back. So even though it's there on the shelf, it may not be in its correct catalogued position on the shelf. Which sometimes made your life bloody difficult, and it did tick me off. Because so I'd be looking in one spot, and it could be like the shelf below, because someone's moved it and not put it back. Or the shelf above, or the shelf beside it, or whatever. Or there wasn't room on the shelf, so they... Um, put it somewhere near the shelves and not tell anyone. But most, mostly it was an easy job, you know, get a little machine that prints out the order and beeps at you every time one comes through, which could get annoying. You just imagine on a busy day, all you've got is this machine going beep, 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 and it does it per item ordered. So if one person ordered five items, you'd get five tickets. <laughs> I suppose that's one thing that would annoy me. You know, stupid little sounds like that would annoy the living hell out of me. Even when the catamaran is meowing, it can really go through me and annoy me, and I have to, like, uh, what's the word? Restrain myself from I don't know, snapping, I suppose, and yelling at the cat and whatnot. Oh, pardon me. Silly little things like that can make, yeah, I suppose, um, agitate me and frustrate me. Um, but not so much these days because I've been on these for the last couple of years, and in that time, I've not once punched a door in temper. Actually, maybe in two years I did it once, and that was only a light punch. So, uh, if anything, they do keep me calm, I suppose. I don't... No, actually, I was going to say, I don't think I was like it as a kid, but I think I was. Um... I am generally laid back. It does depend on my mood as well. But uh, sometimes I could just be happy and whatnot as I am at the moment. I'm in a good mood, you know. I'm happy. There's, well, there's a few minor things I've got to stress about, like getting them bloody frames posted and a few other things posted and whatnot. But uh, apart from that... Yeah, I'm happy. I could be happy like this, as I am. And then, in a couple of hours, or in a few days, I could just turn into a sour mood for a few hours. 
You know, I feel like everyone hates me and I hate everyone and that sort of fucking crap. Just random, no particular reason, it would just hit at random and it could last hours before I come out of that mood. And it doesn't happen as much now I have the um, fluoxetine antidepressants, so uh, those that say antidepressants don't work, yes they fucking do. I do apologise for the language. <laughs> Oddly enough, I don't swear a lot on camera. Um, but uh, I do type swear words a lot when I'm um, typing replies on Facebook. Or I used to, but a lot of people either took it the wrong way or complained, especially my mum. You know what, stop your swearing on Facebook. So it did. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes we think, ouch, just tripped over a computer. And I thought I'd known it was there as I put it there. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about before that distracted me? Oh, this is one of the things that really annoy me about how my mind works. Something like that will distract me from, I don't know, a subject I'm talking about or something, and it will just... I'll just forget. It's completely gone out of my head now. And yes, my cat does like to sleep in weird places. He's actually sleeping on cardboard, which is laying on top of... I think I've still got a dirty pair of jeans up there to go in the wash basket. Um, yeah, there's lots of... If anyone wants to know more about Asperger's or autism, there's plenty of websites out there, there's plenty of Facebook groups, or you can just ask me. <laughs> I don't mind answering questions. But, uh, I don't want to use the fact I have Asperger's as an excuse for, you know, not doing anything, or an excuse for my behaviour, you know, because it's not an excuse, it's a reason, obviously. You know, it explains why I'm like I am and why I may appear rude sometimes, and etc., 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 but it's not an excuse. So, one thing I do like to let people know is, you know, if I do say something out of line, let me bloody know. I'd rather be told than people ignore it. You know, I don't want to be patted on the back and saying, oh, bless him, he's got problems. Oh, bollocks to that. You know, if I'm being rude, I'm being rude. There's, you know, there's no excuse for it. <laughs> if I'm being rude, tell me I'm being rude. No, I don't want to be treated differently to anyone else. The only thing I'd want is obviously the support I need to get where I want to be in life. So I know, um, I can't remember his bloody use um, YouTube name now. But I subscribed to him fairly recently and he's Grass Burgess. And uh, he does his own computer thing. That's, just, that's one of the options I'd like to do because, well, as you've seen, I've got a big interest in computers. And uh, I'm sort of edumacating myself, I suppose, by uh, wanting to, like, rebuild that server and set that up and probably experimenting with that big Ethernet switch or whatever it is, hub or, you know, getting experience with as many different types of PC and ages of PC, etc. as I can to expand my knowledge. Because I don't think... Well, I suppose if I went self-employed, I could do two jobs, you know. I could do my bikes, as well as the computers. I don't suppose I, being self-employed, I'd have to be fixed on one or the other. But, uh, I, you know, I've got two options there if I wanted to go for just one. Um, but I'm always open to learning. 
I suppose I like to teach myself because I feel more comfortable that way. If that makes sense. Because I'm not in a classroom with loads of people I don't know. I'd rather, well actually I'd rather do like a tuition on one to one, you know. Perhaps, um, I don't know, an apprenticeship at a computer shop or something. You know, or a part time helper. Just so as I could learn some more from a computer shop. Something like that. Where I'd only be dealing with... I can handle one-to-one -one with customers. Um, and perhaps other employers, you know, I could just about handle that. I could get used to that. Because after a while, you know, I, um, I'm fine with people. Because I get to know them. Um... So, it's just, I suppose it's just finding the help, obviously from agencies that understand people with Asperger's and autism, who can offer the support and have contacts and whatnot to help, and the knowledge, <laughs> to get um, people like me up on their feet, because I don't want to sit here for the rest of my bloody life on welfare because you know, I claim ESA employment and support allowance um, mum wants to get me on PIP but I'm not sure I'd actually qualify for that but you never know I mean if you qualify and you're entitled to it then claim it but obviously I don't agree with people who are fully capable of bloody work and claiming it because there's lots of people out there Oh, I remember when I was on A3, there was young people younger than me, you know, late teens, sort of 18, 19, and just listening to them and the way they spoke and the things they said, they clearly indicated that they're quite happy to sit on benefits doing fuck all, you know. And that really did tick me off, because that really is a waste of taxpayers' money. You know, whereas people like me and many others like me really do need the support. But uh, I don't want to be on it permanently. I can get myself into some sort of self-employment. I prefer to be self-employed, if I'm absolutely honest. Um, I wasn't actually going to do anything computer... Oh, pardon me. Computer. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'll go back and come back and talk about what I'd want to do with my life after I've been to the toilet. So, be right back. <clears throat> Play a bit of pool or something for a bit. Uh, it's getting late as well, so I suppose. Better pack those two items up and get those posted. As I've been waiting the longest. Uh, yeah, I'll do that in a bit. I'll have a game of pool first. So, what were we talking about before I had to zip to the bathroom? Oh yeah, where I'd want to be in the future. Employed. Would be a great start. Preferably self-employed, but uh, I am open to other things. Uh, let's get that on full screen and let's see what I'm doing. Hmm. I'd like to find a better place to live. I wouldn't mind owning my own house. But uh, I'm not sure that's going to ever happen. Because I'd, uh, I'd like a house with my own little garden. 
not a big house, just big enough. Mm. I haven't got many choices now on the table, have I? Um, no, if I go for that one, I'm going to knock his in, aren't I? Boing! About all I can do. Because <sighs> I'd like a bit more room for my main hobbies. Well, actually, some more cash to spare on my hobbies would be nice as well. Because they progress so slowly. Mostly because I have to pick one or the other whenever I get any cash in. <laughs> so. Well, my road lab collection is a slow one anyway, because unless I start buying them from, like, the States, then I think I've pretty much got all the British versions ever made, unless there's uh, a few battery operated lamps I'm not aware of. I'll do a trick shot. Nope. What uh, I would like. Well. If not a three bedroomed property, perhaps a house with at least a dining separate dining room and lounge, so I could perhaps turn the dining room into a hobby room. You know, perhaps a Lego room, or perhaps a place with a garage, so I could convert the garage. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds, eh? And, uh, was he? Well, one of the first things I'd like to do is get a new camera. A proper camera. Not this heap of crap I keep using. But the problem is, whatever you want costs money, and if you ain't got the money, you ain't got the money. And currently, I've not got the money because someone on my Lego page has already said about uh, needing a new camera, but uh, unfortunately, funds don't cover that at the minute. And if I was making money off of YouTube, I would uh, definitely invest in a new camera, but at the moment, what I do get from YouTube is probably about a penny a day, if that, maybe a few pence, so... Now, why did you go and do that, you plum? It was obvious where the cue ball was going to go. Dipstick. <laughs> Not that I mind, because it gave me ball in hand. <laughs> I would never have taken that shot, because you could see damn well where that cue ball was going to go. Oh well, I think I'm done about talking. Done that, pup. My mouth is definitely done talking. Get that nicely lined up. I think I'm off. Oh no, I'm straight on. Yay! If you didn't cock up Diego, you'd have probably uh, won that one. Let's have another go. Yeah, I don't think there's much more I can say about myself, so I'll just have a few fun games about pool and tonight and start the video again for the next subject or a new video. Hmm. Choices. Let's go solid this time. It's making my life a bit e bit harder at the minute as I've got the reflection of the lounge window in the monitor. 
on the monitor screen. So it's making visibility a little bit hard. Yeah, there's no way I was going to pot another one anyway. <laughs> there you go. That's what it looks like from my view. I've got the camera right in my eye line. Are you actually going to take a shot? Oh, you are alive. Sort of. <laughs> the game lagged a little bit there because he said out of time, but it took a while to come up. Uh, should be able to get. I don't know. What am I doing? I'm solid. Boink. Had a bit of a brain fart there. Forgot what I was. I don't know if that's my connection or his connection, but something is making this slow. There was no way I was getting that in there. Come on, Zen on your turn. When the game actually does something. I think it might be his connection, because it was working fine a minute ago. Come on. I didn't get much sleep last night. I think I fell asleep sort of on 3am and woke... Well, actually, I was woken up at about 8.30. Because, uh... I've got a lovely friend who loves to use the trade button to come in and then let himself in at the flat. <laughs> He's lucky he is a friend, because I wouldn't let anyone else do that. Friends and family can do that. Obviously. I wouldn't let complete strangers bloody do it. Yeah, I don't bother. Because the main doors are security doors. I don't often lock the uh, front door, unless I'm going out somewhere. If I'm here, I don't bother. I don't even think this person is here. I think he, they may have uh, gone away from the computer. But he's still connected to the game, but uh, he's not doing anything. Oh, he's just... <laughs> just disconnected from the game, so either that or he was having connection problems. Mm. Alright, last game, then I'm going to turn the camera off. That worked a very good break. Oh, good bit! <laughs> Not play pool while you're yawning. Yeah. Any balls can we put down the holes before I get stuck? Ooh. No, can't do the green one because it's going to bounce off a stripe. So I'll do the orange one. Ooh. Now I might be able to get the green one. Yep. And the red one! Yay! Trick shot! Trick shots for the win. No! Ooh, that cue ball nearly went in that pocket. What one are you going to go for? I'm going for this bottom one. Hardest one on the table. I don't know why some people do that. I always go for the easiest one. That's why I always go for the easiest one. 
But again, I'm not complaining because he's just set me straight up on that maroon. Might be able to chip the yellow in. Try and get the angle. Oh, it's just off. No, look, buddy, there's one right on that pocket for you. No, you're going to leave that one. Why are you aiming at the black? No, it's going to go for anyone. Go for that blue stripe. Or the yellow stripe. You could go for that stripe. The burgundy stripe. Yay! Now I'd go for the orange stripe in the middle pocket. That's it. Now you got a choice between the yellow and the red. Nice shot. That was a nice shot. That would have been a nice shot if he didn't pop the cue ball. Never mind. Uh, no. I'm going this bottom pocket, I think. Hmm. I'll move my bloody head just so as I can see the, uh... Thingy. Yay! I win! Okay, I win again, so I'm going to turn this off. Right. I thank you for watching, and... Thumbs up if you like Asperger's, or my Asperger's video. Thumbs down if you want to be mean. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon.